Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamp with Anna. And today I have the third card from the class I had last week which focused on diagonal cuts. And this is um, the card we made at class. We're not going to make this one today. I'm going to make a variation of this because I need um, a different card. And this one here looks like a regular A2 card, four and a quarter by five and a half. But when you open it up, you can see that it, this piece flaps over here, it was cut made by a diagonal piece of paper. I happen to need something to put a um, gift certificate in, so that's why I sealed the bottom pocket here. And I kept this like this with the two different colors just to keep the whole diagonal feel going. Um, today's card is going to be a little bit different, but um, basically it is the same type of diagonal fold card. So what we need is a piece of early espresso eight and a half by 11 and this is eight and a half by 11 and what I did was I cut it from one end to the other to make my diagonal then I'm going to take that card and I am going to cut uh, score along the eight and a half side I'm going to score it at four and a quarter which is half And then along the 11 side, I'm going to score that at five and a half, which is half. And that's going to make, make my base, the base of my card. And I'm gonna fold these down and we'll see that I have a perfect diagonal card. Okay, I'm going to get my bone folder and really burnish these edges down okay and there's my card base I'm going to put that aside for the time being now I'm going to make my front panel which is going to make the card look like a regular a4 card and I'm going to do quite a bit of layering so the first thing I have is a piece of whisper white four and excuse me four by five and a quarter a piece of crumb cake three and three quarters by five, a scrap of um, DSP. This comes from the coffee cafe collection from last, uh, last year, because I'm making a coffee theme card. And this is three and three quarters by three. And then I have two strips of garden green that I'm just going to use to give that a little border right there. But before I do any of that, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. On, I'm going to use the Coffee Cafe stamp set. I'm going to use this sentiment here, Life Happens, Coffee Helps. And I'm going to use these coffee beans and I'm going to use the image of this large coffee cup. I'm going to use the coordinating dies as well. And I'm going to use the sleeve for the coffee cup. I'm going to use the large coffee cup and I'm going to use the large lid but I'm not going to do that just yet right now I'm just going to um, do my stamping so I do need a piece of scrap paper underneath this because I'm going to um, go off the page a little bit and using early espresso I'm going to take the stamp with the beans and I'm just going to randomly stamp the beans. I don't have to go too deep because I'm going to put a little bit of DSP right there in the middle. I'm going to come down on this side and do some as well. Maybe one there and one there. Oh, maybe one there too. Okay, <laughs> lots of coffee beans. So now I have that, and now I'm going to attach the DSP. So what I'm going to do, let me just close this up so I don't get ink all over me. I'm going to put a little bit of snail on the top and the bottom of this piece. And then I'm going to make a very thin border with that garden green. Oh, it's about an eighth of an inch or so. 
and I'm going to do that on the bottom as well. I could have used a whole piece of paper for that, but I figure I'm just going to see the edges of it, so why waste all that paper? Okay, so I'm going to do that, and now I'm going to attach that right there. So I'm going to put some snail all along that, and I'm going to put it not quite in the center, because I am going to put a little ribbon on the bottom. So I'm going to put that right there. And if I have this extra piece right here, I'm going to come in with my scissors and just trim that off. Now I'm going to bring in some ribbon, and I have this expired, expired ret retired early espresso seam binding. And with my fabric scissors, I'm going to cut a piece that's just a little longer than the width of my card, and then another small piece. And I'm going to make a bobo. I'm going to take my longer piece and lay that or vertically, and then I'm going to take my smaller piece and lay that across horizontally making a cross. Now I'm going to hold the middle of it. I'm going to tie a little knot. Just grab my pieces here. I'm going to tie a little knot and then when I turn this over I have a perfect knot. So I'm going to take this and, and put some um, snail on my base. I'm going to just wrap this around it. Quick and easy way to make a bow. And the last thing I have to do is just trim my tails. So again with my fabric scissors, I'm going to come in and trim my tails. And now I'm going to mount this onto my Whisper White. Oh, isn't that pretty? I do like those colors all together. And I'm going to put that right there. Now I'm going to work on the inside of my card. I'm going to do all my die cutting last. So I'm going to open up my card base and I have another piece of Whisper White which is four by five and a quarter and I'm going to attach that right here. have another piece of four and a quarter, excuse me, Whisper White cut at four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to cut this at an angle because I'm going to put one side here and one side here. So I'm going to hold my card like this so that I can see I want to go top left to bottom right. And I'm going to put this top right, top left corner in the groove and the bottom right in the groove. Now, when I'm cutting this, I don't want to cut, just bring my blade right up because this is small and I don't want to run the risk of um, grabbing that, pulling at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my blade with my cutting piece about an inch over that so that I'm going to come down and then go up and that way I won't cut. I won't snag the bottom. Whoops, just drop something there. I won't snag the bottom part of the corner. So this piece here, I'm going to put right there. And then this piece here, I'm going to put right there to attach that. So this one here has to go this way. So I'll make sure I put my adhesive on the right side of this. Now I think I showed you a, a trick in one of the other videos about all right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to 
center that up so it has a little bit of a border. And I'm going to flip this over and now I'm going to do the same with that piece. Bring this over. I'm going to open this up so I can see it better. And I'm going to center that in there. Okay. So now that we're seeing how this card's going to work. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to attach it to the front. Now I only want to put adhesive on half of this because I don't want to close my card shut. So I'm just going to put some adhesive along the diagonal, up along the top, but not all the way to the edge. then I'm going to center this right about there. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my tape eraser. There we go. So now the card is going to go like this. Okay. You do want to be careful when you're laying this piece down that you do come in enough because this piece here is four. So you're going to have a little a little bit of a um, a border here. So you want to make sure that when you place the white piece down that it's going to be covered by this one here. And give it a dry run before you attach it. You might find that you need to shave just a tiny bit off of that. So this is how the card goes together. I'm going to do the accessorizing, the stamping and whatnot. But I have one other piece of... Sorry about that, I got a phone call. So the last thing I'm going to do before I start to decorate my card is I have a piece of this designer series paper and I cut it four by five and a quarter and I did the same thing. I cut from top right to bottom left. And in keeping with the diagonal theme, I'm just going to place this here, and I do want a split. I could have just put this here solidly, but I wanted to keep this split just to keep that whole diagonal theme. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to butt these together, and I'm going to run my snail so that I get all my edges. Now, I couldn't do it when I did the white piece because I was using the front of one and the back of the other. And it wasn't going to work. But this way, if you do it this way, you get tape all the way down into the corners of your cut. So, I'm going to bring this in. And like I said, I do want to be able to see a little bit of that early espresso there. Because I want to keep it keep the diagonal theme going here. So I'm going to straighten this one up. Now this looks like a thick border, and it is. But when I bring this one in here, I can line that up so that it's just a thin little strip of early espresso. And I do want to line up my um, cups there. This one's on crooked, so I have to redo this one. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to try to make this one straight here. If the bottom one is straight, the top one will be straight. And then, like I said, I'm going to keep a tiny little black, uh, excuse me, early espresso border in there. so there we have it still diagonal okay and now I'm going to do my decorating so I'm going to do my stamping and on this side here with my coffee cup I need to make a stamp pad because it's photopolymer I'm going to ink this up with early espresso and this fits just perfectly in here so I have to just be careful that I don't go over 
Okay. And there's my coffee cup. And then I'm going to stamp. I'm going to ink up the saying that says, Life happens, coffee helps. This is perfect for the woman I'm giving this card to. She loves coffee. She had a something happen to her, and coffee's going to help her. So I'm going to put some coffee beans along the bottom here. Or maybe just three. So now I'm going to do my die cutting. And what I'm going to do is on some scrap whisper white, I'm going to die cut the coffee cup and the lid. And on scrap crumb cake, I'm going to die cut out that um, sleeve for my coffee. So I'm going to run over to the machine and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with all my pieces. So now I want to add a little bit of dimension to these. And I'm going to take my sponge dauber and with a little bit of crumb cake, I'm just going to outline the edge of the coffee cup. just makes it so it doesn't blend right into the uh, designer series paper. Just give it a little, little bit of a pop. Okay. And now I'm going to attach this to my card. And this actually looks nice without the cup. But um, I think I'm going to go with the cup. That was my original design. I'm going to put a little bit of snail on this. my sleeve on the middle of my cup and then I'm going to take a couple mini dimensionals and attach a coffee cup. I think three ought to do it. And there we go. So I have um, this card here. It opens up this way. And I will, I have this here. And I'll open it up. And this is where I can write my message to this woman. And it is almost like the original one, except this one, because I did, I used the pocket full of sunshine stamp set and I made a pocket. And it says a little pocket change for you with some cash. I wanted to be able to put a gift card in there. And that's why I sealed this one up. But this one, I'm not giving a gift card. Uh, if I were going to give a coffee gift card, I would seal that up as well. But I'm actually giving something else to go with this card. So I do want to be able to write on the card. So there we have it. That's our last diagonal fold card. And I hope you enjoyed making these diagonal cards with me. And if you have any questions at all about any of the projects or the products, please contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And if you don't have a copy of the 1819 Annual Catalog and you don't have a demonstrator with whom you work, certainly let me know and I would love to get a copy out in the mail to you. Thanks so much and I'll catch you back here next week. Bye-bye.